Jin Yu Cheng's novel Flowers Text Chapter 7 1. Grandma shook the cattail leaf fan and said, The fan makes me feel cool. My brother is writing an article. If he can't do it, please ask me. Old man. Betty said, Grandma, why are you crying at night? Grandma didn't make any sound. Betty said, I will never cry again. Why is Grandma crying? Grandma said that at night, I dreamed about the coffin again. I saw a few coffin boards and I knew something bad was going to happen. Something big was going to happen recently. Betty said nothing. Grandma said that she used to dream that there was gold in the coffin and there was always light. Last night, the coffin was empty and the iron was as black as black. My grandma was like a dead person alone, with nothing but a fish. Betty said, a fish? Grandma said, yes, yes, I plan to go back to Shaoxing to visit graves no matter what before the winter solstice. I must go back. Betty touched her grandma's leak edge gold ring and said, how much gold is there in the coffin board? Grandma said, of course there are a lot of them. A bow said, how much? Grandma said, my grandma escaped from the Tianwang mansion in Nanjing and took a lot of gold with her. Betty said, fake. Grandma said that people cannot escape quickly if they have gold on them. A bow said, is it a gold ingot or a gold brick? Grandma said that my grandmother had been a maid in the heavenly palace for three and a half years. She was a woman who escaped from the golden world, and she cried all the way. Betty said, where is the gold stuffed? Grandma said that she was wearing a set of homespun shirts and trousers, with gold covering her calves, belly, and buttocks. It doesn't matter if the woman's buttocks are bigger, just a homespun skirt. If there was a bra, it would definitely be filled with two big round balls. A bow didn't make any sound. Grandma said that in the past, women, even if they were Shih Tzu, still had their chests tied up and flat, making it impossible to hide them from others, Betty said. Grandma brought diamonds and sapphires. Grandma said, bright sapphire, fourth grade top wear, what's so strange about it? Even if you become a second grade official, you can only ride in a green cloth sedan carried by four people. How much does gold cost? Diamonds, foreigners are happy, but Chinese people are happy, glass. Betty said, why can't I see the coffin? Grandma said that when a person is sad, he will see his ancestors in his dream. Betty said, what? Grandma said that on the day my grandma passed away, the morning hall was as snowy as she was buried in the coffin. Suddenly, two golden threads fell in her eyes. Betty said, I've heard this six or seven times, and I don't believe it. Grandma said, gold fell from her eyes, and my grandpa felt unlucky. He opened the morning curtain and approached the coffin and said, Mother-in-law, wait a minute, we will nail the coffin boards. She heard someone shouting, hide the nails here and there, hide the nails here, be sure to hide. Drops of gold suddenly fell from my grandma's eyes. When the neighbors saw them, they stretched out their hands to catch them and roll them over. Grandpa fell down, got frightened, and died. A bow said how much gold the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom's palace maids would have. Grandma said, everything in the Heavenly King's mansion is made of gold, you know. Betty said, Grandma has told me several times that spittoons and pots are made of gold, and spoons are made of gold. A bow said, there is more, Grandma said, golden sky and golden earth. You know it. In the palace, there are tables, low stools, beds, doors, windows, toilets, fly swatters, made of gold, women lining trousers, woven with gold thread. Think about it. Betty said, impossible. Grandma said that the carriage and sedan chair were all made of gold. A bow smiled. Grandma said, the soles of the horse's feet are inlaid with paws, usually made of wrought iron. The palace is made of gold. With gold nails, the carriage clatters out. The sun comes out. The golden carriage has eight horses and 4,830 to golden lights along the way. The voice is soft because gold is soft. Betty said, nonsense is impossible. Impossible? Grandma shook her fan and said, now, who can understand the grandeur of the great lord? Betty said, there are two golden baby carriages in the world, and only Elizabeth and Ludwig II can ride in them. Grandma said, what is this? The typing heavenly kingdom, the golden world, a golden sedan carried by 86 people. You know, 
inside the sedan. You can have a round table for drinking. And there are golden lamps, golden wax picks, gold basins, and golden bowls in the inner compartment, gold chopsticks, gold slippers. There is a gold screen in the compartment, a gold couch, a gold bucket, and a gold servant holding a gold plate in his hand. There is a stack of yellow satin for the great lord to wipe his butthole. A bow said that Hung Shu Quan never left the palace and only rode in the golden carriage pulled by the palace ladies. He always had dragons, phoenixes, and yellow carriages, and 72 poles. The toilets, basins, and bathtubs in the palace were indeed made of real gold. Betty said, No, a bow said. It was my father who told me that young Shu King, the king of the East, went to Jiajing for a meeting. He was surrounded by people, carrying a big sedan with 46 carries, and a water sedan for hot weather. It was cool and comfortable. It was lined with a glass water tank and raised goldfish, lotus. Grandma said she had never heard of it. A bow said it was written in a book. Grandma said, only the grandfather of the great heavenly king has a golden sedan chair. The palace of the heavenly king is full of pomp. Tut, tut, tut. Dian Chen Gong, Dian Tianel. How many people are there? Dian Tiang Wen, 3,000 people. Dian Tiama, 300 people. Dian Jing Wen, specializes in gold. Official Jade, specializes in Jade. When the National Day of the Kingdom of Heaven comes, hundreds of officials watch the ceremony. Grandpa Heavenly King wears a gold face, a yellow python jade belt. Goes out of the palace to hold a celebration. Waves to the labor models and starts crying underneath. Okay, three cheers for long live, long live. Next, it's time to hold a garden party. 30 pairs of gold gongs to clear the way. Gold helmets and golden armor. Flying gold lettered silence signs, avoidance signs, road clearing flags, flying tiger flags, flying dragon flags, and front and rear supports. Big gold fan, big red satin gold umbrella, also called red rizao. Just do the math. This ostentation, TSK, 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 TSK. Bring your own golden dragon pole. How many names do you need? A bow said, the more we talk about the gold matter, the more we talk about it. So don't talk about it anymore. Betty said, why is grandma crying? Grandma said, ah, uh -uh. I have told you several times. It was my grandma who came here in a dream at night. The coffin boards were removed and my grandma was already a naked fish. 2. Grandma's plan to return to her hometown to visit her grave at the end of the year was delayed. In November, Betty's parents participated in the social education movement. Someone reported that Betty's father was assembling an ore machine, listening to enemy stations, and listening to the voice of America. A string of Kremlin bells was the Shanghai language program of the Soviet Radio Moscow. And the Soviet broadcast the reporter speaks Shanghai's Moscow Radio, Moscow Radio now, at 10.20 in the night. I am the announcer Vasilyev, and I am now broadcasting the night news with old listeners in Shanghai, Moscow Radio, now broadcast program. That's not bad. Betty's mother rushed over to attend the meeting. The boss thought she was here to expose Betty's father problem. But Betty's mother only helped her husband to complain about his injustice, and the two of them could not come back. Only Grandma was with Betty in the room several times. Betty told Poe that what could be done if Poe returned to his hometown. A bow said, No. Betty said, Really? A bow touched Betty's head and said, Why are you panicking? A Poe won't leave. Betty said nothing. It was over in the blink of an eye. New Year's Day, 1966. One day Betty said, Grandma, I had a dream yesterday and saw an old woman turned into a fish. Grandma said, It's true. Betty said, The fish's mouth opened one after another, and there was only the sound of water. Grandma quickly covered Betty's mouth and said, Stop talking. Betty was startled. Grandma said, I had a dream yesterday and saw Betty turning into a fish. This was so scary and what a coincidence. A bow smiled and said, being a fish is the laziest thing and can be silent. There is no need to play the piano every day. All you can do is drink water. Betty said, It's true. I saw Grandma was a fish, and I was swimming round. My whole body was shiny, and I was a goldfish. 
Grandma said that the little girl was lying and talking nonsense. The little girl should not become a fish. Betty said, a fish? Grandma said, don't talk anymore, but I already know that this year is very bad, and something big is going to happen. This year, somewhere, a bow said, in 966, Betty hugged her grandma tightly and said, Mom and Dad, they will definitely not come back. Grandma said, Ba, Betty said, I will come back. Grandma will tell me, Grandma said, Now I just want to go back to my hometown. When I go to the grave, my grandma will bless me right away. In the underworld, bless me, Betty, so that I can live a few more years when I return to Shanghai. Betty said, Two people become to fishes and slide into the water. I saw grandma's fish's mouth open and shiny, so I swam over. Grandma said, the more I talked about it, the more it looked like it. If I were a fish, the world would be peaceful. By the time the three of them talked about it, it was getting dark. And Betty said, piano I also saw a small fish on the top. Poe turned on the light to take a look. Betty said, I played Claymanty Sonata, Chapter 11 Measures three groups of small characters across the octave, and I looked up. The little fish swam over, and I played it again. The harpsichord tone should be light, the skipping should be light, and the wrist should be flexible. I looked up and saw that there was really a goldfish next to the score. It was shiny, and its tail trembled. Swimming round, go, I wiped my eyes, and all you stopped. The day before yesterday, I scratched it with a hairpin and made a mark. You see, it's right here, right here. A bow looked at the piano carefully. The body of the piano was relatively old, and above the keys there were a few marks on the baffle. Grandma also came closer, looked at it and said, What are you doing? A bow touched it and said that the old piano had many old marks, paint scars, and scratches that were originally there. Betty said that when the fish stopped at this position, I couldn't play anymore. Every time I played 10 bars, the fish would come out. Poe said, not paying attention at all. Betty said that when the piano played, Ayu swam over. Grandma dragged Betty over, touched the pigtails, and said, New Year's new trend. Betty has become weird, and something big is going to happen. A bow said that Betty was a little girl and timid, and it would be bad if Grandma returned to her hometown for a few days. So Betty cried and leaned against her grandma. Grandma said, good girl, a bow said, either, after I take my winter vacation, I will go to Shaoxing with my grandma and Beatty. Betty burst into tears and said with a smile, I want it. Grandma thought about it and said, okay, that's great. There is a young master and young lady from Shanghai who can accompany the old woman back, and I will have face. A bow said that from Shanghai to Shaoxing, you can take a train or take a steamboat from Shiliupu. Betty said, I want to take a boat. The two of them looked at Grandma. It was already dark. And outside the house, the eyes were covered with iron dust. Snowdrops were falling. And there was a sparse sound on the window panes. Betty hugged her Grandma tightly, probably because she was cold. Grandma closed her eyes tightly, as if making a decision or dreaming. Time stood still. Grandma finally moved and said, I was a little panicked at the thought of returning to my hometown. But since a bow lives with a man, Beatty and I would feel relieved to have a man by our side when we return to our hometown. 3. Early in the morning, Poe and Beatty helped Grandma, the old and the young, and went to the Shanghai North Railway Station. They climbed into the car, sat down, and the train started. The day before, a bow nying took out 10 kilograms of national food stamps and 10 yuan bills and told a bow that a bow must pay three people a car to eat on the road, and a bow must understand the truth and buy some for everyone. A bow said, got it? Betty got on the train. Everything felt new and she wanted to take a boat. Grandma said, there is room for you to sit on the boat. Sure enough, when the train arrived at Qichao, Shaoxing, the three of them got off the train. Grandma called a boatman and asked the boatman to row to Pingsh, her hometown. As soon as a bow stepped into the cabin, the boat swung away. The boatman could tell at a glance that a po was an old fellow villager, and a baobet was a people from the mountains. Grandma smiled and said that she didn't know how to ride a boat, so this place was called Mountain People. A bow didn't make any sound. 
Grandma said that the rowing boat is really narrow. When you get in with one foot, you must first hook it up, slowly step down into the cabin, and go ashore. Remember to step one foot onto the shore, step firmly, hook the other foot firmly on the side of the boat, and then slowly come up. Everyone was speechless. The three people sat down on the small boat. As soon as the oars sounded, the boat moved forward. Grandma said that such a single boat was like the one used by blind women to go to people's houses for marketing during festivals. Two women and one man would play the pipa and a blind woman would sing flower tunes, Abao said. What are you singing? My grandma said that I can sing everything. So I sang. Betty pulled her grandma hard and said, Grandma. The three of them made no sound and rode like a leaf, only listening to the sound of the oars. At that time, the water was bright, and the mountains were beautiful, and you could still move your eyes. However, after a short rest, it became cold and cold. The boat was narrow and long, and the boat was rowing very fast. In front of you, you can see clear blue and dense water nets. The cold wind blew, and my grandma said uneasily that she had not been back for so many years. That she no longer recognized her and could no longer speak the Shaoxing dialect. A bow said, it doesn't matter, after a while, snowdrops floated on the river, the boatman closed the awning, and Poe felt the cold water below his buttocks. The maple leaves have fallen, the beech flowers have dried, and the mountains are faintly visible in the distance. Grandma said to the boatman, brother, this is Kweji Mountain, the boatman said, yes, there is a lot of road. Grandma said, in my hometown, there is a mountain call in front of Pingsh. The boatman said, This is Miwu. Grandma said, Yes. The boatman said that no one lives in this place. Grandma didn't make any sound. Finally, the boat arrived at Pinch. The three of them went ashore and saw a group of farmers coming to finish their work. The woman among them replied that Miwu by the mountain call was really uninhabitable. Grandma said, Ah, the woman said that in Kintaiwu, the people had moved away long ago, all the people were gone. Only weeds were left. It was rare for anyone to graze cattle. Grandma panicked and mentioned her fourth uncle's name. The woman said that she had died long ago. What a shame. A bow said. What? Grandma said she just jumped into the river and died. Grandma started crying. Betty was startled. A bow asked the peasant woman, Auntie, there is a guest house here, which is a hotel. The peasant woman shook her head and said, Where can I find a hotel in the countryside? The peasant woman took three people, old and young, into a large, rather dilapidated house. Abao took out five yuan of banknotes and said, Auntie, there is dinner here. When she saw the banknotes, the peasant woman's eyes lit up. While crying, the grandma took the banknote and said, Five pieces of mother of pearl for house and rice are not enough. One piece of mother of pearl is enough. A bow paid a piece of banknote and the peasant woman happily took it and stuffed it into the hand of the man next to her to prepare for dinner. As soon as they took a break, the rice was served, including dried vegetables, thousands of molds, a bowl of salted vegetables, and a bowl of thin porridge for each person. Betty looked at it and ate the soda biscuits in her school bag. Abao took two bites of the food and didn't want to move anymore. Grandma said, Dear girl, this is the countryside, only Grand Mao is used to eating it. She has been eating it since she was a child. End of the stage, several chickens and dogs were walking round. There are lively farmers round, men, women, old and young, each holding a bowl coming in and out, eating and talking. Several little girls stared at Betty, and Betty gave each of them a cookie. Grandma said that Betty would eat it at home. The peasant woman said that she is much better now. A few years ago, she could not eat a pound of grain in a day of farming. The man said that five years ago, he ran ten miles away to the gate of the Eternal Spring Winery early in the morning to grab the distiller's grains for food. He queued up in the middle of the night and was beaten to death every day. Grandma said that distiller's grains are pig food and they taste the same to people. Everyone was talking about it, eating and watching. After the meal was over and the table was put away, the peasant woman accompanied the young and old to the side room to rest. 
Everyone brought their bowls and chopsticks and followed them to watch. There is an old-fashioned big bed in the back room, and the curtains are all patched. The peasant woman said, Let's settle down first and talk later. Grandma sat on the edge of the bed and sighed and said, How can I live in this place? I will go to the grave tomorrow morning and then go back to Shanghai. The peasant woman said, Okay, but the surrounding graves have been completely bulldozed. Grandma said, What? My Huang family has a few old graves. The peasant woman said she didn't pay attention. At this moment, everyone was preparing to go back. When they heard the discussion about the graves, an old farmer said, One of the old graves is really missing. They have been dug up. Grandma said, What? There is still imperial law. The Huang family's old tomb is full of gold. Who dug it? There was jeers all around. One man said that during the land leveling movement, the stone coffins that had been left on the ground had to be knocked open in the stone slabs used to pave the roads in the year 1958. There was a harvest field and there was a shortage of fertilizer. Old graves were dug up one after another. The bones of the dead were dug out and the ashes were burned to make fertilizer. The Huang family's old graves were dug for two days and leveled. Grandma said, where is the golden treasure? The countryman said that wherever there are golden treasures, there are just a few rotten coffins. Grandma suddenly slipped to the ground and started crying. The countryman said, why are you crying? There are really only a few bones left. Grandma said, my grandma and grandpa's graveyard is a piece of good soil for cows to sleep on. A pair of golden nanmu coffins. There was ridicule around. Some people said that it smelled like crystal coffins. Grandma turned over, rolled around and cried loudly. The compass is the right acupoint. Stone wax candle. Stone memorial platform. Large green bricks made to order built the tombs of my ancestors. It was me who was unfilial. The harvest must be bountiful. I arrived in Shanghai three years after the tombs of my descendants. No wonder my grandma was shirtless and unhappy as a fish, yes. Betty and Abo went to pull it and said, Grandma, get up, get up. Grandma said, golden treasure, kill a thousand swords to grab gold. At this moment, a skinny old lady came in and said to Grandma, second sister, to see who was coming. When Grandma opened her eyes, she was still crying, the old lady said. The second sister went to Shanghai to work as a guest for many years, and she is my eldest sister. Grandma suddenly stopped crying and sat up. A bow helped Grandma and sat down on the edge of the bed. Betty said, Grandma, Grandma. The skinny old lady came over and patted Grandma on the back. Grandma stared at the old lady, breathed for a while, and called out, Big sister. People around said loudly, It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, the eldest sister said. Shanghai's come to such poor places and suffer such hardships. Grandma said, I thought the eldest sister must be evil. The eldest sister said that my life was tough. If I jumped into the water, I would have to climb ashore no matter what, Grandma said. Is it possible that the eldest sister is the only one left in the Huang family? The eldest sister said, There is still the second sister from Shanghai, and there are still these two grandchildren from Shanghai. Grandma said, Where do I get my luck? These are the descendants of my boss in Shanghai. The eldest sister said, It has been six years since I escaped from Miwu. I fled to Wenkin to make a living and happened to pass by. Grandma didn't make any sound. The eldest sister said, Wang Kin is not far away. Let's get on the boat and take a look. Grandma waved her hand and said, I'm not going. I don't want to go anywhere. Grandma talked about this. He squatted in front of the luggage and pulled out a bundle of Fuchang roll noodles. The eldest sister took it. Grandma unwrapped a parcel and said, There are many tricks. Everyone gathered round to take a look. And inside there was Ningsheng. That is, a big firecracker, Baizi, also called Baek Yang. The ground was red, long ingots of tin foil, several stacks of ghost coins, yellow paper, several pairs of large and small incense candles, and several packages of tap water. Grandma said, There are still graves of my parents-in-law, and my grandmother and grandfather, which are the graves of the Huang family. The eldest sister said it was a field. Grandma said, I can't find it either, What's the use of all these tricks in my hand? 
The eldest sister said, Burn it. You can burn it and find an open space tomorrow morning. Someone laughs. The eldest sister said that if you burn it, chant sutras, pray and repent, your ancestors will be able to harvest it. Grandma sneered and said, Not a single bone was missing. It was burned to ashes. Where would the dead go to collect the ingots of tinfoil? When the eldest sister didn't say anything, Grandma said, All the gold in the coffin is gone. Grandma's golden treasure is still there. Someone laughs. The eldest sister said, I also believe in gold. Someone laughed. The eldest sister said that when my grandmother was buried, there was so much scenery. Candles and lamps were lit at night, commonly known as Yao Guang and Never Night. Mao curtains were hung, and everyone wore white robes, which are mourning clothes, in the corner of the incense pavilion. Put up the secret meteor, which is the soul flag. When my grandpa opened the curtain, which is the coffin cover, inside the coffin, my grandma's face suddenly shone with golden light, and her hair was golden, like golden threads. But, there is not a tail of gold visible on him, grandma said. Gold is always placed at the bottom. Where can outsiders see it? My grandma is the king of heaven from Nanjing. Betty pushed her grandma hard. The eldest sister said that there are all kinds of teachings, grandma said. I know something big happened. It turns out that the old grave of my Huang family has been dug up. The farmer woman next to me said that the Huang family's old grave had been harvesting rice for four years. The peasant woman and the man said that after digging out a good pair of coffin boards, the brigade would hold a meeting, distribute them, and make a platform and a boat. The peasant woman said that she dug out a coffin with two quilts inside. Someone immediately dragged it away, spread it out in the sun for a few days, and spread it on a bed for the winter. Everyone was talking about it. Grandma didn't say anything, wiped her tears, and said to the peasant woman, There will be a royal garden party tonight. What time will it be held? After hearing this, the people around gradually dispersed. The eldest sister sighed and accompanied the young and old people to make beds on the ground. A night of silence, early the next morning, Grandma took Ababa and Betty on a rowing boat. The eldest sister and the peasant woman borrowed 10 kilograms of glutinous rice, a specialty of this area, for about a take back to Shanghai. The eldest sister told my grandma that if you go to Shanghai to be a tourist, you have to be tolerant in your life. Grandma didn't make any sound. The boatman stepped on a long oar with both feet, and with a sound of shinai, the boat set off. The eldest sister started wailing, and grandma looked at the eldest sister on the shore without shedding a single tear. Three people, old and young, took a boat to Qichao, immediately escaped to the train, and returned to Shanghai. On the way, my grandma stared out the window, and later said with emotion, it was really what the opera sung. It's hard to wash away the sadness. It was because I was greedy. I built an ancestral hall in the grave boat. The rice fog came, and the wheat fog came. The calamus flowers rarely bloomed. Now, Shanian doesn't care. Kweji will not accept it. A bow didn't make any sound. Grandma said that the scenery has not changed at all. Kweji Mountain, rice fields, mulberry fields, green water can improve eyesight, and green mountains can strengthen the spleen. It is exactly the same as before, but when I ran in front of the house, I smelled a stench. Every time one face, brown and thin, just like my grandmother who escaped from Nanjing, Betty said, go in to talk again. Grandma said that my grandmother used lotus leaf water to wipe her face every day. When she was fleeing the refugee crisis, her face became sallow and her body was stained with feces. Betty said, what to do? Grandma said that if a woman is ugly and smelly, she will be peaceful. I am afraid that someone will have bad thoughts, eat tofu, and show off one's strength. It is a trivial matter. He will pull off the woman's pants, drag her into the wild, and then touch the gold ingot on her body. Betty said, what is eating tofu and what is bragging? Grandma said that my grandmother came from Nanjing back then. Betty shook her grandma and said, Grandma, my hair is itchy. Grandma took Betty and looked at her and said, There must be lice. Oh, I know. Things are not going well these days. This year, something will happen soon. A bow said, Stop talking. Grandma didn't make any sound. 
The old and young people made a futile trip and worked hard to return to Shanghai. A month later, Betty's parents released her. Grandma was quite happy. The next day, Grandma came back from the market and sat in the small garden at the door. At that time, a bow was about to go out. Grandma pulled up bow over and whispered, A bow, please be better in the future. A bow said nothing and saw Betty playing the piano and walking out of the door. Grandma came close to a bow and said softly, Grandma was leaving. If she really left, a bow would have to take care of Betty. A bow said, Where is Grandma going? Po felt that Po was not normal. Po stood up and took two steps. Looking back, Po was sitting firmly next to the fish pond in the garden. She looked fine. There was a vegetable basket at her feet. Betty had already walked into the small garden. At this moment, Grandma suddenly stopped moving and turned sideways. A bow immediately went to help Grandma, and Betty ran over and shouted, Grandma, Grandma. At this time, a bow saw a bright light and a sound of water. Betty said, Grandma, a bow shook Grandma, but Grandma lowered her head and remained motionless. The vegetable basket is a little lower than the pool. It lights up and rings. There were three river crucian carps in Grandma's vegetable basket that day. Grandma lowered her head and didn't move when a crucian carp crashed into the fish pond. Betty shouted, Grandma, Grandma, but Grandma stopped moving and closed her eyes tightly. After everyone sent Grandma to the ambulance, she arrived at the hospital. The doctor told Betty's father that it was time to prepare for the funeral. Beatty Nyang took Beatty back to the room and dug out a leather package that her grandmother had brought to Shaoxing. Inside was a set of shrouds, a pair of shoes with red cloth soles, an embroidered lotus leaf, a lotus flower, and a lotus pod. A butterfly, a dragon flea. Betty's father immediately went to the Shi Chao funeral home to contact him. The museum said that starting from next month, burials will be stopped in Shanghai. There is only one coffin left here. If you want it, just decide on it. The price is cheap, 50 yuan. In the future, you can only cremate it. This is a rare opportunity. Betty's father passed away in Dingyang after the burial was ranged. The coffin was stored in the funeral parlor for a few days. In the afternoon of that day, Betty's father rushed to Lianyi Villu again and visited the cemetery at night. My grandma was hooked up to a suction machine and fell into a coma. Early the next morning, Betty and Poe got up and saw a crucian carp in the goldfish pond. Betty said, Grandma, the crucian carp moved. Betty put her hand into the water, but the fish didn't move. She put her hand under the fish's belly, but the fish didn't move. Then it swam away, Betty said. Grandma, be happy. The fish swam in a circle. A bow didn't make any sound. By early morning on the third day, all the fish ponds were covered with fish scales. The black ones were crucian carp scales, and the golden ones were goldfish scales. When the sun shone, everything shone brightly. The goldfish and crucian carp in the water were missing. The cleaning lady said that she forgot the wire cover, and it must be a wild cat causing trouble. Betty said that the wild cat is a prince and is good. Auntie laughs. Betty said that Grandma swam away. As soon as 12 o'clock struck in the middle of the night, under the moon, a wild cat picked up goldfish and river crucian carp, ran to Rihui Harbor next to the Huangpu River, and released them into the river. A bow felt a little cold and felt that Betty's answer was strange. A bow said that when a cat sees a fish and has a fish in its mouth, it shakes it a few times first. The cat will stop eating the fish. It's a joke. Even running south, for a few stops is impossible. Betty said, You are stupid. The wild cat is a prince, a goldfish, a crucian carp. One is a princess and the other is a grandma. I don't understand this at all. A bow didn't make any sound. Betty's face lit up and her eyes were like gems as she told this story. At dusk, the two of them went to the hospital again. Grandma suddenly woke up, took off her shroud and trousers, and folded them carefully. Grandma looked at Bidey's father and started talking. A female guest from the country comes to the city to worship the Bodhisattva. One or two appointments. When she is 17 or 18, she opens the windows and doors, whitens the color from the east, wraps herself in a green shirt, covers it with moon white, and carries rouge. 
painted until blood red, gouache until snow white, head full of pearls and emeralds, all made of copper turtle, rosin and fennel, pretending to be honey beetles. Betty's father was shocked. Grandma said, I'm ready, I want to eat a hot fried dough stick. A beau understood that it must be a comeback, and hurried out to buy fried dough sticks. Where can you buy fried dough sticks at night in Shanghai? When he returned to the ward, Grandma felt better, smiled, and her body gradually recovered. After a week, I was discharged from the hospital. For this reason, Betty's father could only remove the coffin and then return it to the cemetery. All right, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.